Honda has been at the forefront of innovation for the last few years, whether it's the Cub or the Honda Jet. In fact, back in the late 80s, Ethan Senna helped create the Honda NSX, which kicked the backside of Ferrari all the way from Tokyo to Maranello. But now, it's considering something else as an important competitor. Honda in India says Volkswagen is a problem for them. In fact, Volkswagen and Suzuki put together is an even bigger problem for Honda. In India, the city, as you can see behind me, is, India's, is Honda's best seller. And today, it's going to take a couple of bouts with this, the all-new Vento. So why is Honda worried about the Vento? Actually, the Polo with the boot makes the Vento. And the Vento is priced in the same region as the city. That basically means Honda is worried that its days of leadership in the C segment are under threat. On the inside, the Vento doesn't feel very different from the Polo. In fact, the instrumentation, the controls, they're all from the Polo. The only difference is that in the high-line Vento, you got automatic climate control. The overall environment on the Vento is pretty calm, but not as calm as, say, the Honda City, which feels a little more plush and a little more refined on the inside. There is no doubt, however, that the Vento rides better than the City. It just tends to demolish everything under its feet. The city's interiors feel rather plush, and the use of colors is most interesting. The quality here, like the Vento, is quite good. On the whole, we prefer the city's interiors for its features list and pleasant feel. So the Vento has given the city a scare, especially considering its price, the right quality, and build quality. And yet, today, it's the Honda City that wins this contest yet again. The City has proven that it is unmatched in terms of performance, in terms of fuel efficiency, and in terms of the feel-good factor. Sit on the inside and the City feels special. Special enough for you to take that plunge and spend an extra lakh odd rupees on the City over the Vento. Yet again, the City proves that it is a class benchmark. But if you must have the Vento, then we suggest you plonk in for the diesel. It makes for a fantastic value car. Oh God, don't tell me petrol is gone. Yeah. Petrol is over. Yes, that. As you can see, we are pushing the Honda City because we kind of overestimated the fact that it could run on about 7 to 8 litres of petrol. But since this car has run less than 100 kilometres on the clock, well, it's going to consume fuel like a Mercedes Maybach. Oh, so much for being overconfident. <laughs> 